everyone, today I'm going to be starting a short series of videos on gerbil care. This first video will be an overview of everything and will also include some tips and tricks. I'm going to make a video every week during this series, so next week's video will be all about bringing gerbils home. After that, there will be videos talking about health, diet, enrichment, and environment. I will also be making a pros and cons video later on. Enough chat, let's get into the video. It's good to keep in mind that gerbils are big chewers compared to other animals. No plastic should be in the cage unless it's very hard plastic. A plastic wheel and water bottle should really be the only places where you have plastic. Gerbils are also burrowers, so make sure you provide lots of bedding. They are very curious by nature, so their cages should be very busy and almost cluttered with toys. Make sure to use all the space of the cage, including vertical space. So I won't be going over anything specific for diet, but make sure you're feeding a diet that is natural. Don't trust the packaging, read the ingredients. Also, if you're feeding fresh fruit and veggies, make sure they are safe before putting them in the cage. It is very important to observe your gerbils. Never try to handle them in the first few days, but do try to figure out their personalities and if they will be outgoing during taming or more shy so that you can prepare accordingly. Monitor them every day. This is important just in case they start to act sick. They're, they are prey animals and won't show signs of sickness until it is almost too late, so you need to act fast. Put aside money for the vet. One visit can cost up to $400, so you need to have money put aside for emergencies. Change things up in their cage frequently to add enrichment. 